friends and felines and welcome back to my channel or hello if you're venturing onto my channel for the first time today. For today's video, I'm going to be shaving my face. So yeah, I don't really think there's much more needed in the intro. So let's go ahead and get started. All right, I'm fresh out of the shower. It's been a weird day. I had to wake up at one in the morning to go to work at 3 a.m. because I have to leave my house by like 2 to get there in time and I worked a quick four-hour shift for overtime from 3 to 7 came back slept a couple of hours I'm exhausted like trying to get up at 1 in the morning for a shift is like the worst thing in the world I'd rather just work like a night shift so trying to get up in the middle of the night is like the worst but so like I said I'm just out of the shower my hair is still wet and I have a nice clean face so I can go ahead and shave it. This is my first time trying to shave my face. Don't really know what I'm doing. I have watched a bunch of YouTube videos. I will link Jaclyn Hill's video down below because I think that one's a good one to watch if you're interested. I have done like a little touching up shaving like unibrow or my mustache um, here and there, but I haven't done it in a while. And I just went and got my hair done and my eyebrows. So I was waiting for like that to heal from the wax before I went in and shaved. So yeah, I don't have anything in my face. I haven't really done any skincare other than just wash my face. And we're going to go ahead and see all the peach fuzz that comes off because I know I have a lot. So then when I'm done shaving my face, I'm going to go ahead and apply some foundation and see if I can notice a difference in my makeup application after shaving my face. So yeah, let's go ahead and get started. I'm like so nervous to do this. So if you're curious, these you can just find on Amazon. They're like pretty cheap. They're just like so like eyebrow razors, but you can use them for your face. You definitely want to use one of these and not an actual razor because that's not going to do the same and your hair might grow back darker or longer or bushier or something. So I'm hoping that doesn't happen with my face when I've shaved my mustache and like my unibrow. It hasn't come back any different. And I know they said you can like shave about once a month. So we'll see if that's the case. All right, I'm just gonna go in on my cheeks. I think I'm gonna use this mirror and so I can keep my skin taut. So I'm just gonna go in the biggest, fleshiest part of my face first. Ooh, that feels weird. It's, it doesn't even look like hair. It just looks like peach fuzz. Oh my God. I don't know if it's like shaving it or if it's just like dragging it. It feels weird. Oh, that's so weird. Oh. It looks like the little down feathers you get from like a jacket or a pillow. This stuff's going to be all over the place. I feel like this is like the most boring video you could probably watch because it's not like I'm giving you a tutorial on how to shave your face. I'm just shaving my face. I can like see all my hair like flying through the air. <laughs> oh god, that's so weird. My skin is like super dry too. So it's definitely like exfoliating dead skin cells, which is also a plus. It's like a microdermabrasion tool at the same time. Oh my gosh. And it's hard because it's not like leg hair where you can see where you shaved and like where you haven't shaved yet. So I'm just kind of going over the same spot. I definitely have a lot like right here on my jawline underneath my chin. So I got to try to get there because that's where I got a lot of peach, a lot of peach fuzz. All right, so now I'm going like around my lips and I definitely get a lot of peach fuzz like around my lips and my little chin and my little mustache. So going in there. I feel like once I do like a rough job of it, I'm going to go into my bathroom and use my magnifying mirror to like get up closer and see if I missed any spots. So yeah, this is kind of a boring video. So I'm kind of going to fast forward because this is probably going to take a while and yeah, we'll come back. So my cats are fighting. So as long as they don't jump up here and I like just take off a whole eyebrow, that'd be great. But I'm getting a little nervous because now I'm getting up to like my hairline. So I know you want to get as close to your hairline as possible without like actually cutting your hair off. Because <laughs> otherwise, like if you miss a spot where there's still hair, it's going to look weird when you apply your makeup. You're going to have a noticeable difference. Like I said, I can just <laughs> see all of the peach fuzz just flying around my face. My face is like tingly, like it feels weird. 
Like it doesn't even feel like I'm shaving my face. It just feels like I'm scraping it, but it's actually doing stuff. So it's interesting. I definitely have a lot more peach fuzz like on my forehead than I did on my cheeks, which I didn't think was the case, but. All right, there shouldn't be too much hair around my eyebrows. So I did just get them waxed, but I'm still gonna go ahead and shave there and just be very, very careful. Cause like in Jacqueline Hill's story, I don't want to shave off the tail of my brow. I mean, it's not such a big deal if you're doing your makeup every day, but I don't do my makeup every day, so I don't want it to fill in my brows every day, you know what I'm saying? You gotta make sure you get like underneath them as well. All right, so now I'm gonna go on my nose, because I definitely know I have a lot of little hairs on my nose. Sometimes I'll get a couple of like black ones that I can like pluck out, but I definitely know I have some peach fuzz on my nose. Jacqueline Hill says she loves doing her nose because she's also like getting gunk out, which I definitely am getting some like whiteheads and stuff out of my nose, but oh little baby girl. So I'm really glad I didn't clean off my desk yet because there's hair all over it. My face just is so dry, especially around my nose right now. Excuse me, thanks. So can, no, you don't want that. I'm not shaving you. So I think I got the majority of all of my peach fuzz off my face. I'm gonna go ahead and go into the bathroom and look in my magnifying mirror and see if there's any that I missed. All right guys, so I went in my bathroom and I looked in my magnifying mirror to do any touch-ups and I think I got most of it. It doesn't feel as soft as I thought my face would feel after shaving it, but again, it is so dry. Like the amount of dead skin I had peeled off my face was atrocious and it added to the disgustingness of this whole ordeal. Um, my face isn't too irritated. I didn't get too red or at least redder than it normally is. There's a couple of spots where like, you know, I had pimples and stuff that irritated and I did get one little small abrasion like on my nose right here. But other than that, for my first time trying it, I don't think I did too bad of a job. I'm definitely going to moisturize and prime my face and then we're going to go ahead and apply some makeup and see how it looks now that I have a cleanly shaved face. All right, so I'm going to start off spraying my face with the Pixi Glow Mist just to sort of give some hydration back to my skin because boy does it need it. Ooh, 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 wow. That's staying in some of my more sensitive areas like my nose. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh. Oh. It's staying like right here. Oh my god. Kind of like where my abrasion was. And then where my skin is dry. And I don't know. I don't know if it's because I just shaved my face or because my skin is that dry. But like this pixie glow mist has never stung me before. So that's interesting. All right, and then for primer, I'm gonna go with the Junon Co. Moonshine Miracle Cream because this is a very, very, very moisturizing primer. And like I said, my skin needs it. So hopefully this won't sting my face. Just apply a generous amount of this. Definitely pay attention to my nose because it is very, very dry. Oh, yep, that's stinging. The only spot it's stinging is my nose. Like. It's not even winter yet and my nose is just so raw from like blowing it and being dry. All right, so now I'm gonna go ahead and apply my foundation. I am using the Anastasia Beverly Hills Luminous Foundation. I've used this once and I loved how it looked. So I'm gonna go ahead and apply this with a brush and we're gonna see how this foundation looks with a cleanly shaved face. Do I think it's wise to put foundation and makeup on after just freshly shaving? Probably not. Do I care? Only a little bit. All right, so foundation is on and it looks really good. Like I love the Anastasia Luminous Foundation. Where am I noticing the differences? Definitely my temples. Like I've said before, my temples always have this weird spot where like products won't agree with each other on my temples or just won't agree with my skin and it'll peel off there. So it's definitely looking smoother right along here. Definitely my nose. It definitely looks different on my nose and my upper lip because there's no hair there. So before it starts cracking and stuff, I'm going to apply. How does it look, baby girl? Does it look good? Do you look good? She's like, put me down. Go over there. Thanks. So 
like I said, I'm going to go ahead and put on concealer and set my face and we're going to come back with my final thoughts on what my base looks like. Alright, so I went ahead and did my concealer and set my face with powder and it is looking pretty good. I'm other than a couple of my own errors, the actual makeup with a clean shaved face is actually working really well. The concealer on this side is one a little wonky. I was trying the Maybelline Instant Age Rewind concealer for the first time. I swear I'm too impatient for these things because you have to twist the cap until the product comes out the top. And I just don't have time for that. And it just took off my foundation and I had to reapply it. So it's looking a little wonky over there. But other than that, my foundation looks really nice like my base looks super nice having a clean shaved face other than my skin being a little dry i need to make sure i moisturize really well the next couple of days and i think my foundation is going to look really really nice all right so i'm going to go ahead and finish the rest of my face and yeah that'll be today's video all right so i went ahead and finished the rest of my makeup if you want to see how i created today's eye look then definitely make sure you go check out that video up there but overall, looking at the base of my makeup, it looks pretty good. I have a couple of weird spots just because my skin is dry or had like pimples or like a weird scratch or something. But it's definitely interesting. And like I said, I will definitely give you guys, you know, check-ins here and there when I do other videos and see how it looks when it starts growing back and like when I think I need to shave my face again. So that's everything for today's video. If you guys enjoyed watching this strangely weird video today then don't forget to give it a big thumbs up and while you're at it don't forget to subscribe and ring the bell so you are notified every time i post a new video i love you guys and if you subscribe to my channel i welcome you in our feline family bye oh my god there's so much cat hair on this brush what the heck cats